everyone, I hope you guys are doing really well. I have been wanting to do a favorites for a long time, a kind of a mishmash favorites. So I thought let's turn this into a mommy favorite slash Mother's Day gift ideas. So I have favorites kind of in every category. Beauty, snacks, cheap, fitnessy, fashion-y, and skincare. So. so I'm gonna start off with the beauty and skincare products. Derma E is actually partnering with me for this video and I'm so excited because I've been using their products for quite a long time and I share with you guys a lot on my IG stories, Instagram, blah, blah, blah. So I picked my favorite items to share with you guys. But before we get there, I thought I would show you some of my favorite, not even favorite, because I have so many, you guys. I have so many lip products. So I've been pulling out some of the bright and vibrant colors for spring and I thought they would be perfect for Mother's Day. So I tried to pick a couple of brands that would be kind of age appropriate and budget appropriate. So the one I'm wearing right now is actually this Estee Lauder Pure Color Envy in Naughty Naive. And this is a liquid lipstick and it has like a doe foot applicator and it's a liquid lipstick but it's not super drying and I really like this color. And then next, another Estee Lauder. I feel like all moms like Estee Lauder because it's like the classy brand. Um, this is a Pure Color Envy High Luster in Lava and it's just this really pretty kind of red color. And then these are the three lip products I actually took out of my purse because I wore last week. Sorry you guys, I'm still a little bit sick and I, once in a while like a Kermit voice comes out. Anyways, you guys, Milani lipsticks I feel like are the most budget friendly but the best color payoff, best wearability and they have so many awesome colors. One of my favorite colors, this is actually my third tube of it. It's Flirty Fuchsia and I feel like this color would look good on any skin tone. This is one of the NYX liquid suede, and this one is in pink lust. This one's super neon, I'm not even gonna lie. So what I do is, I'll show you how neon it is. It's like a carnation hot, hot pink. I don't know if you guys can gather how hot pink that is. I feel like when I just apply it directly onto my lips, it looks a little bit like pasty, chalky-ish. So what I do is I just kind of put some in the middle of my lip and I take my finger and I kind of blot it out and then it's like the most beautiful, vibrant pink. Love that. And I really, really like these Urban Decay Hi-Fi Shine Lip Glosses. This one is in the color Snitch and it's a beautiful coral color <clears throat> and it's these beautiful colors and what I didn't realize about these at first until I put them on look at that pretty coral color is that they're peppermint so they kind of give your mouth like a minty feel and I love 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 that so we're gonna get into some of the skincare items and these are my favorite items you guys know that I've been struggling with acne um, thank you adult acne but this is therapeutic tea tree and vitamin E oil and I really like putting tea tree like on my acne my active acne and anytime because I'll be honest like I do dig in my zits which I shouldn't do but sometimes I kind of like break the skin and cause trauma to it as my esthetician friend told me <laughs> I put tea tree oil on it to help it heal faster another thing I've been doing a lot is using serums and vitamin C so um, this one is the advanced peptides and collagen serum so with serums what you want to do is you wash your face tone your face serum let it kind of soak in a little bit and then moisturize if needed this one helps with deep lines and wrinkles so i actually sometimes concentrate my serum i'm starting to get like crow's feet here and like i have a lot of wrinkles on my forehead which is fine but i just slap a little more on there um, i've also been using a lot of vitamin c because vitamin c helps with dark spots and i got a lot of dark spots after having babies. You know how you get like the mask of pregnancy? Um, vitamin C really helps lift and brighten those dark spots. So this is the vitamin C concentrated serum. I didn't know that they had Derma E in Whole Foods, did you? Was it Whole Foods? I was somewhere with Patty when we were in Vegas and I'm like, hey, they have Derma E stuff here. This is actually another favorite of mine. This is the Radiant Glow Face Oil. 
and a lot of times I will alternate between face oils and moisturizer um, and when I do use face oils I usually use them at night so I can just let it be instead of trying to like mattify it and I just feel like it really like nourishes your skin and you know um, gives it the moisture that it needs you guys know I love my masks and as much as I love masks I also really enjoy a good face scrub I don't know what it is it just makes me feel like my face is cleaner so this is one of my favorite face scrubs this will be my third jar of this and this is an exfoliating scrub and you just wash your face and it looks like this and it has really fine little exfoliants in it but especially when I've used a lot of acne stuff or I've been using stuff to like dry out my acne my skin starts getting really flaky in those spots so these kind of scrubs are amazing I need a little bit of coffee so that is it for skincare now I think I, I'm losing my please don't let me lose my voice Okay, so this I actually got as a set, I want to say last Mother's Day, and it's by Erin, and there's a perfume and a lotion, and it's Amber Musk. Let me tell you, I normally do not like Amber, and I don't like musk smells. I'm more of like a sweet, either sweet floral or vanilla type of girl. So Amber and musk has always been like too strong for me, and it makes me sneeze, it kind of gives me a headache. I don't know what it is about this one. It smells so good, doesn't give me a headache, it's not so strong that I like gag on it. Um, and I also sometimes feel like Amber and Musk can kind of smell older ladyish. This just makes me feel like a pretty grown up. So I really like it, Erin. I know they have other scents too, I haven't smelled the other ones. So I realize that not all the time Mother's Day gifts you're looking for a mom. Sometimes you're looking for yourself and you wanna just give someone around you hints to what you would like. I call this a practical mom gift. <laughs> that sounded so infomercial -y. So, um, you guys know I love coffee and I collect coffee mugs. This one, whenever I use it, people always ask me about it. It says, I'm a special unicorn. I got this from Marshalls for $3.99 and I think what a really cute gift would be like this, some chocolate from Costco. <laughs> this was from Costco because the other ones are just not enough. And then maybe some coffee. This is my current favorite coffee. I grabbed the wrong one. The one that's actually my favorite is the Hawaiian hazelnut. And these canisters I get, you can get them at Target, but I just get them at the local grocery store. They're only $5.99. And when you're brewing it, it smells so, so good. So if you were to like pair this with a cute mug and then like, Obviously you don't have to get like a jug of chocolate, but maybe a cute and more pretty. Or maybe like a little thing of flowers or something would be so, so cute. Okay, so I said in my last fitness update that if I had lost however much weight with the winnings, I was gonna buy some new running shoes. So these are not true running shoes, they're more like fashion sneakers, but they now have them in this blush pink color. Look at how pretty these are. I haven't worn them yet. But they're like this dusty rose. Um, they are the Nike Tangen. Tangen. Um, I got them at Famous Footwear. They are $65. What I really, really like about these, especially since we live in Southern California, not only are they like the most comfortable shoes because I have them in gray, but they're mesh, so they're like breathable. So your feet don't get hot and sweaty and stinky. And this is the best part. You don't have to wear socks with them. I know that might gross some people out, but when it's hot outside and I wanna wear running shoes, the thought of putting on a sock and then like a non-breathable <laughs> running shoe is like, does not sound good to me. These I can wear barefoot. I don't get any blisters. To me, they're actually more comfortable without socks than with socks. I feel like every mom needs a pair of cute sneakers that they can just wear. So we received these for a give back luncheon from the Glamorous Roses and these last for a year. So they are a little bit more expensive than like regular roses, but they last for a year and they smell like roses. So I want to say they got these in, they get the roses from Honduras, they dehydrate them, rehydrate them and then actually put artificial rose scent in it so it stays scented and they stay beautiful like this for a whole year and I actually have two of them I got an extra one because there was an extra one left over and then this one is actually from Venus a Fleur one this one still smells really strong this one's like dipped in gold <laughs> 
Um, one of the packages, oh, it's from Beauty Blender. When Beauty Blender sent me a PR package, this came in the PR package and it smelled so good. And I got that one before Christmas and this still smells really good. And I keep it right here because it works as an air refreshener. So if you don't want to buy like one of those big ones, they do have little single ones available as well. Okay, and then lastly, what I wanted to show you was some gift bag ideas. Gift bags are so expensive and you guys know me, I'm kind of a cheapo. So I get all of my gift bags from Marshalls and these are all under $2. Like I got this one, got a cute ice cream one. They have so many cute gift bags. And then what I did was, I'm actually making a gift right now for a girl named Emily. Um, what I do, I buy a lot of this kind of stuff when it goes on clearance after certain holidays. So this was a box of hearts after Valentine's Day. I want to say I got like 50 hearts for two dollars because they went on clearance and then I just hand letter people's name on the front of the bag and then I just glue stick them on and so when I show up with a bag like this it looks so much more fancy because it's like customized but it was so much cheaper than buying a gift bag at like Target or something. Okay one more thing, if you guys want like a clothing item that is perfect for someone else to buy you or for you to buy someone else without it fitting perfect like say you don't know their size I would always go for something flowy and one of my favorite items this month is this do you see how cute this is bell sleeve it's like a little kimono cardigan and I got it off of Amazon I got it off of Amazon and it's flowy um, I feel like it's very Mother's Day ish I'm just wearing a plain white tank top underneath and I threw on a necklace and you could wear leggings, jeans, shorts, and it just looks so pretty and feminine. I will try to remember to link it below. If I don't link the stuff, will somebody tell me because I'm always like, this time I'm gonna link it and then I go about my day and I totally forget to link stuff. So remind me and I will try to link all the things that I can find um, down below. I hope you guys are doing really well. I know that Mother's Day isn't always the easiest holiday for everyone for many different reasons. So I do have a video coming up kind of addressing that as well. So wherever you are, whatever you're doing today, I hope you know that you are so loved, you are so cherished, and I hope you have a great rest of the week. I'll talk to you later. Bye.